uh, TMD can actually have fatal consequences, whether it be the consequences of the effect on systemic disease, negative effect, effect on systemic diseases that can be fatal, or localized effects um, on the inability of a provider to get into the mouth to provide appropriate dental care. Um, a good example of that is, you know, anesthesiologists, if they have to put an endotracheal tube down, and I've had lots and lots of experience placing endotracheal tubes. Uh, recently saw a video of an anesthesiologist who was struggling to get an endotracheal tube down because the patient could not open fully and actually sacrificed the anterior upper teeth so that he could get enough space in to get the laryngoscope in and placed properly so he could slide the tube down the trachea. Um, that particular video did not specify that the patient had TMD, but it did specify the patient couldn't get open fully. Okay which was the most likely cause of a patient not able to open one or more variations of temporomandibular joint disorder. Closed lock, being locked completely or partially closed. And this was a video that I saw uh, recently when I was preparing for this episode of, a, of an anesthesiologist who sacrificed the anterior teeth so he could get enough space to get the laryngoscope placed properly to get the endotracheal tube placed. And then the third category, our patients at the end of their rope, literally, because they can't stand the pain associated with TMD that up until they came into uh, our office, uh, no one could help them with. TMD can have fatal consequences. I hope it sobers you up a little bit about dealing with these patients and having a tremendous amount of empathy for them. Uh, we are responsible to make it go right for these people. 